All right. So let's let's go on. Good questions for you. so if you're interested in contributing to the um, Linux uh, the laptop project. Sorry, um, the first question maybe uh, what shall I contribute to the Yocto project? And um, actually, um, we need you, you, you. Uh, so uh, typically, your interests, your experience, your ideas, your personality, so who you are. So actually, our greatest value is our community members. So just bring the best of yourself according to your uh, best interests, right? So the first thing you need to understand a bit is uh, like a, a bit of context to understand what the different parts of the project are, because it really helps to, to contribute. So um, what uh, a few terms here. So open embedded is the build system. So it's a bit big plus OE core. So it's a set of basic recipes. And then that's used in uh, Pokey, which is our reference distribution that can be built. Uh, Pokey contains so that this part of open embedded like OECO and Bitbake plus uh, MetaPokey and MetaYocto BSP, which are recipes as well. Uh, on top of that, you have the manuals that are also part of Pokey and released inside Pokey. And yes, that, that, so that, that will help to uh, if you find an issue in Pokey, for example, or if you use the wider open embedded like with its own recipes, you know uh, what well, you, you'll be able to find the corresponding repositories to contribute to, right? So the first thing would be, I think, is to would be to join uh, the mailing list and IRC. That's where the other people are. Uh, so there's a list of mailing lists here, uh, and the most important ones, I believe, are the Yocto ones for well, Yocto one for users. Yocto announced to be uh, informed of what's going on and the releases and, and stuff like that. And for developers, that you should definitely subscribe to OE, uh, OE Core, and Bitbake developers. And if you're interested in helping with the documentation, it would be great to subscribe to the docs mailing list as well. So if you click here, you'll be taken to the description of those. Uh, what else would I would like to say? There's also, of course, a ch a chat resources on IRC. Um, so you could use your favorite IRC clients. So there's hash Yocto and hash OE. On Liberata chat. You could also use a matrix client if, prefer, if you prefer to have a, a web interface that's uh, as well free. So that so the first thing to, to, to do is join the community. Um, and then I'm, I'm trying to um, promote my own project here. So a good idea to start would be if you're new to the, the project would be to um, read the documentation, try to understand it, try to run the provided examples. And it's it's not impossible at all that some some of them are out of date and we haven't detected that yet. All right, so try the examples that talk to us. You could, uh, of course, report typos and suggest improvements from your own experience. Uh, you could propose new content. And it's, um, it's also a nice way to get familiar with Sphinx, which is a great system for creating your own documentation. I mean, for your own projects, if you want. Uh, that's what Python is using, by the way, and the Linux kernel as well. You could also review posts uh, that are submitted to the docs mailing list, uh, so help with the, uh, the review that helps a lot. Um, and then you could also support users. That's a great contribution. Uh, the community is our main strength, so you could support users um, sharing their um, problems on Yocto main, the Yocto mailing list, and that's also a way, great way to consolidate your, your knowledge and learning. Uh, you could also share your knowledge on IRC and people are doing um, that great. Uh, Tim says, yes, um, you could also answer questions at Taco Flow. And yes, if it, if that's a good idea because people would end up on those on this website as well. So thanks, Tim. Uh, you could also get your hands dirty if you're uh, looking for challenges, like uh, concrete uh, challenges to solve. You could help with the bugs that are marked as newcomer bugs. So there's a weekly a meeting to try each the new bugs and some of them are considered as uh, reachable by to the reach of uh, newcomers so that they are a good way to help uh, we have we have limited resources so if you can help with some of the bugs you can find all of them here through the wiki uh, you uh, and that's something that's not well known but that's really appreciated is to help review patches that's a good way to learn to ask you the right questions uh, it will help to um, raise the quality of our, of our code if we have more reviews, and it really helps the maintainers um, and reduces their load significant, significantly because you're doing all the, uh, the testing, the um, uh, 
asking the right questions, uh, sometimes uh, basic questions that we could overlook. So that's that's really great if you can do that. Uh, as an example, as the documentation maintainer, I owe a lot uh, to Quentin Schultz, who is maybe here in this presentation. Uh, he's doing many reviews of the documentation patches, and that's really invaluable. He ha he helps a lot. If I didn't have his his uh, support and his contribution reviewing new patches, I mean, my I, I would I would I would miss some bugs. Uh, I uh, the, the documentation would be uh, not as good as, as it could be today. Um, and then you could also um, help with the, more generally, um, um, you, could, you could start to contribute some code to the project, of course, uh, as I started saying, talking about the, the bugs, the newcomer bugs. So here, what's specific here is, um, it's bit, if, you're, if you're coming from a background where you're using GitHub to submit pull requests, the way we process the, uh, we, 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 we get contributions is very different from what the, the process from the GitHub. It's more like uh, the way the, the community, the Linux kernel community, for example, organizes. We want, we, uh, our, our developers are used to getting um, submissions through mailing lists uh, as emails. And we want the uh, patches to be submitted as inline attachments that are typically sent through Git send email. As Git send email guarantees that patches will be applicable, that they won't be mangled by the uh, by the web servers and by uh, the email clients, and having the patches in the email and in email uh, makes it easy for reviewers to comment uh, some parts of the patches, uh, reply to specific lines, and that that's really how we're used to reviewing patches. And uh, believe us, uh, after some time, it's really easier to review uh, changes like, like that. So um, that's that's a requirement for contributing to the project here. So here's a quick quick guide, quick guidelines for, for, uh, for contributing your first patches. The first challenge is to find the original repository. So if you're starting from Pokey, for example, you need to find which component of Pokey you're, we're talking about. So you can just read the readme uh, that markdown uh, file and it will guide you let's say it's, if this file is in the, in this part of the pokey uh, tree that's that belongs to that directory right so once you have found the original repository you're going to check 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 out the reference branch uh, of, for that repository so I'm future proof when I'm talking about that I'm not talking about the current one branch name uh, but whatever the reference branch is right uh, and then you can check out uh, create your own branch starting from that reference branch Right, and then you can make your changes, uh, test them as much as possible, of course. Uh, and then you should prepare your commits. Uh, each commit should try to solve only one problem at a time. Uh, this increases your change, change, chances to have your uh, commits accepted. Uh, and some of them will maybe refused, uh, rejected for some time, but then the, the ones that are okay will be accepted. And then you can just come back for the ones that, that need a little extra work. So one problem at a time. Uh, that helps everyone. So then you can create each commit by adding the git add uh, if you have new files. And then if you have specific files for that particular commit, you just use git commit-s and the files. Or if you just have all the files in the, in the same commit, just commit-as. Uh, make sure you include a good commit message. That's important, and I'll get back to that. And you also need to add the sign off, signed off by info uh, that's, that you have anyway when you use git commit dash, the dash s option in git commit, right? Once you have done that, uh, you have created your commits, you can generate your patches. You'll, you'll get one patch per commit with git format patch, uh, uh, passing the ref branch. So that's uh, the changes versus your, the reference branch. Um, getting back to the need to have a good commit message, uh, the, the first line is particularly important. Um, because that first line may appear in the release notes. It's also important for Pokey because that aggregates multiple repositories. So make sure that the first line is prefixed by keywords with keyword that would allow to identify the repository it comes from. So a good idea that I'm always, always uh, uh, using is to look at the previous commits for the same files. So you can use git log dash dash one line and then the file that you want to modify. Uh, so that helps to make something that do something that makes sense. At least you're not diverging from the previous ones that could make mistakes, but at least uh, you're not alone. You have an excuse. Uh, so some specifications about the commit message. The commit message should be concise uh, and informative, allowing to know what the change is about without having to 
dig into the patch details and, and understand what, what, it, what the patch is about. Um, you should also use the present tense to describe what the patch does. I had the previously a tendency to say added commands, but just, yeah, just describe things in the, in, the, in the present tense, not in the past tense. And assume the patch is already accepted when you write the commit. Don't, so uh, don't make a proposal or things like that. Just uh, assume you are uh, somebody reading the patch once it was applied, right? Uh, if you have questions or alternative solutions, uh, that belongs to the patch review process. So that, that can be uh, asking um, when you uh, submit the patch, like uh, extra, extra emails or uh, as a comment in the email. Uh, so quick uh, good and bad commit messages. And here I, I checked uh, like uh, documentation make files so the part I'm supposed to take care of. Uh, and we even frequent uh, do that where frequent contributors could do better. Like uh, this one is good. For example, it says it's the docs, uh, the docs patch, but there's a bad one uh, that shows um, make file set versions. Uh, we don't know that it's a documentation make file and this can land in, in Pokey and uh, you have to look at the, 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 the content, the patch contents to know that it's a, it's a documentation patch, right? Um, so don't, don't forget, I should make pay also more attention to the patches I, I accept or I submit. Sometimes I could forget uh, the docs prefix. Uh, that's at least you say you should say where where it what what, uh, what part of the, the repository it belongs to, like which manual or documentation docs if it's a uh, multiple manuals. Uh, to send patches, um, you need to send your patches through Git send email, send email that will guarantee that the patches will apply. Uh, so. Uh, the good idea is to send your the patches to you by uh, email, uh, to yourself first to test, and once everything works, then you can uh, uh, send uh, the uh, patches to the to write mailing list that you will find in the readme file from in the repository that that you worked on. Then uh, you'll get some reviews. Uh, you take them into account. Resubmit your patches if needed. That's the the review process. So you could submit submit a V two. Uh, Etc. So they, be patient. Take the the the, the 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 reviews into account. That's important, um, and that's also that's that's good for the reviewers. Uh, uh, that 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 incites them to to continue to review. So and then eventually uh, you'll come with a solution that will be accepted by the community. Um, uh, other things you can do to. Uh, to contribute to the community and the project is to participate to the weekly engineering and bug triage meetings. Um, right here, everyone will feel welcome. I can guarantee that when when I when I joined, it was really great. And when newcomers are there, they're just we we are happy to have them and we're curious about who they are. Um, so that's that's uh, trust me on this. People are really welcome uh, on those meetings, even though they they are not uh, active developers yet. You can also participate to the open embedded happy happy, happy hours. That's a nice uh, and friendly uh, event that uh, people can chat and it's it strengthens the the sense of belonging in the community. All the events are referred to in the in this wiki as well. You can also help with fixing uh, CV vulnerabilities. And there's actually uh, if you subscribe to the Yocto security mailing list and the OE core mailing list, you you get uh, notifications of vulnerability. Uh, vulnerabilities, and then it's nice because you could work with upstream to uh, to find uh, a patch to address the vulnerability, and then uh, you can submit a vulnerability to OE Core or to the corresponding mailing list. So that that's nice. That's working with upstream at the same time as uh, helping the project. You could also adopt a package if you uh, if you if you're interested. So we we are are still looking for some maintainers for some 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 uh, some packages uh, like. Packages that are built with uh, standard recipes, right? So um, you can get the list of maintainers here, and you 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 see what packages need, still need a maintainer. Uh, and anyway, you will get uh, help from the OE's auto upgrade helper that will try to upgrade your packages, your recipes uh, to fetch to match the the latest versions available upstream on the in, on the internet. So um, that that's nice. You that will be uh, easy to uh, submit new patches and. That's also a way, a great way to learn about how the project works uh, to um, to adopt a package. Uh, by the way, we also are looking for um, maintainers for the uh, the uh, parts of the build infrastructure itself, like parts of Bitbake or some scripts. Uh, so that's not exactly uh, recipes, but more core parts of the infrastructure. But the, um, if you're interested, that would be great as well. 
uh, more contribution ideas to finish. Um, you could read the code. Uh, the recipe is a bit big and propose fixes and improvements. It's always a great experience to read the code. It's fun. Uh, and you can learn about the language and the programming language and about, about the implementation and ask questions and learn about how the, the, the product works, right? Uh, you could also investigate issues reported by the auto builder that are here. And of course, you could share your experience by proposing a talk at the next uh, Yocto Product Summit, as I'm doing here. Uh, and uh, you could also contribute to uh, the Yocto Project and open embedded wikis uh, that, that also need help and sometimes have like obsolete pages. So that will be great too. So plenty of, the, of ideas for contributing. Um, so quick useful resources here. Uh, all the mailing lists I talked about uh, are uh, also archived on lore.kernel.org. So that's a great resource for searching for past messages. Like it's, um, you can have a, lo a local copy uh, in, in, a in local inbox of the mailing list archives. That's really great. I mean, that's the, the kernel resource, right? And uh, here are a few more guidelines for contributing patches, like how to submit a patch to open embedded. And you could also read the kernel uh, process uh, for submitting patches that 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 follows the same philosophy, right? So it's, we, we have a lot of in common with the, the kernel community in terms of how we organize, how we create patches, how, well, yes, but what are the criteria for submitting code and for creating patches, right? So that's it, uh, time was short. Um, I, hope, I hope you have questions though. Uh, otherwise we, we, we can anyway talk on uh, after, the, after this talk.